The video released by the three principals shows them together at an undisclosed location. It was accompanied by a statement saying that the four NASA principals had yesterday met and were supposed to meet again today, but that meeting could not take place due to what they termed as circumstances beyond their comprehension and control. Journalists had come to the home of NASA running mate Kalonzo Musioka since morning to get a perspective from him on what he expected of the day. When he had come out, he had sympathized with the media and had condemned the government for shutting off TV stations. So you can see the high-handedness uh, of our friends on the other side. Uh, we don't understand this panic. So we, in the first instance, we are still consulting um, and we'll let you know. Yeah, we are, we're actually going into consultation right now. Yeah, so because, because we, even the worldwide, people are expecting this event. So what do you do when, when it's a complete shutdown? The journalists followed Kalonzo and he gave another briefing. This time it was about his security being withdrawn. Every security detail, the remaining, because a lot of them were taken away. Right? Now you wouldn't imagine my security right now is Senator Wambua. <laughs> he looks like he can be one. <laughs> and Governor Kebwana, he looks a little... <laughs> yeah, these are the security we have. And you can imagine on an occasion as important as a swearing-in ceremony, okay? So we are taking all these things into account and uh, we hope sincerely that uh, our supporters are able to see what we are going through. Trucks belonging to the General Service Unit arrived at the home and took the officers together with their personal belongings back to their camps. The NASA team had planned to meet at the Intercontinental Hotel for lunch and NASA MPs had been gathering there since morning. However, when they learned that none of them would be coming there, they all headed to Uhuru Park. Before the ceremony, Kalonzo had spoken about the way forward. Well, this country is our home for all of us. All right? We will be here. We will be here. And we will be uh, letting the country know the next moves. Despite their absence, they insist that the coalition is united and remains strong and will be meeting in two days. The signature of Raila Odinga and the NASA letterhead, however, was conspicuously missing from their statement. The initial swearing-in meant for the 12th of December last year had been called off because Kalonzo had not been in the country then. When he came back, he had been buoyant and had boldly said that he would take the oath as Odinga's deputy. Kama hatu awataki mazungumzo ya kwa kikisha, wizi wa kura unakwisha. Kama wataki ya mazungumzo ya wizi wa kura, Kalonzo na Raila watapisho. His absence today could raise eyebrows about the future of the coalition that has survived since 2013 and was bolstered in the last election by the presence of ANC's Musalia Mudavadi. Andrew Ochiang, NTV.